Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Enermax Max Revo 1350 watt power supply. The box is black and gold, great color theme. Also it has lots of features and specifications about the product on the box. Now let's open it up first and have a peek. You can see it is wrapped in this wonderful plastic so you know that nobody else was ever into this. And yes, just slide this off. Hmm, wow, this is an interesting looking box. Looks like you pull these compartments out. Very neat. This is kind of like a cabinet, a power supply cabinet. Look at that. A bag. Another bag, a user's guide, loads and loads and loads of modular leads, a free gift, a fan, which is always nice, and down below here, they have the power cord. Some Velcro cable ties, more Velcro cable ties, four in total. This is a clip. I believe this is for the power supplies cord. Four screws, as well as a case or um, monitor badge or really a sticker. You can put it anywhere you want. This is just a modular uh, sockets and uh, rail distribution kind of sheet and uh, this is uh, just information about the product which is right here Whew, look at that kind of has a gray black gold finish very nice indeed and this thing is rather heavy so let's have a closer look at this power supply now they have some protective plastic here on the Enermax logo which is on the fan grill I will remove that the Max Revo series of power supplies are currently available in three wattages 1200 1350 and 1500 I'll be reviewing the 1350 watt model. Now, how is this wattage determined? Well, to understand that, you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use. And there are essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case, the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 140 watts and the 12 volt is a whopping 1,344 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. But note that this power supply has a peak power of 1,620 watts. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. It's important to know also the peak amps on each rail. Well, the plus 3.3 volt and the plus 12 volt rails are both 25 amps each. Now, this particular power supply has a lot of plus 12 volt rails. Each plus 12 volt rail is 30 amps, but the combined total on the 12 volt rail is 112 amps. And this is how that 1,344 watts on the 12 volt rail that I mentioned earlier is determined. If you multiply 12 times 112, you'll get 1,344. Now there are a number of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. The first is wattage. Determine how much wattage you're going to require by the amount of hardware that you will be installing. Generally speaking, a medium to high-end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply for a hardcore system. Select a power supply that's around 
800 watts if, however, you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top-of-the-line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware, select a power supply that's 1000 watts or greater. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficiency at typical load. That's not a problem at all for this power supply since it has a 88 to 94 percent efficiency at 20 to 100 percent load third it should meet the latest atx and other current standards environmental directives over voltage under voltage and other protections this power supply meets all current standards fourth i'd recommend choosing a power supply that has apfc apfc or active power factor correction assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has APFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, 80 plus, NVIDIA SLI, and ATI Crossfire. Many of today's high-end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications, but this power supply, well, it meets all of them, and it is 80 plus gold, certified it meets the 80 plus gold requirement which is fantastic but not only that it is server ready finally get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup also consider a power supply that has a modular design because it reduces the cable mess inside of the case also it is very important to get a power supply with a fantastic warranty and this power supply comes with a five-year warranty. Now this power supply has a very rough kind of gray finish with gold accents. I love the theme on this. The housing is steel and they include a very quiet 139 millimeter twister bearing fan, which is very, very nice. It has a recessed fan grill as well. This fan and the many ventilation holes means that the power supply remains cool in almost any environment. And note the power supply cable connection as well as the power switch. And by the way, if you recall there at the beginning, I took this little clip outside of the box and I said that this clip is probably for, you know, keeping the power cord in place. Well, it is indeed for that. You can see a couple of holes right here. Will you slide that clip into place? It's good because you don't necessarily want to have, you know, the cable being ripped out of the back of your system when your system is on. Who knows, you might have kids and they might do things like that. This power supply has lots of leads and they are all modular. This power supply is 100% modular. A lot of so-called modular power supplies, well, they're not really modular. <laughs> Modular leads are fantastic because you only need to use the ones required for your particular setup, which reduces the cable mess and increases airflow inside the case. Finally, have a listen to the 139 millimeter fan. This power supply is simply one of the very best that I have ever reviewed. All in all, it is outstanding because it offers an enormous amount of power if you need all that power. Also, it's completely modular. It looks fantastic, has a quiet fan. The feature list just goes on and on and on. It has things like cord guard, heat guard, safeguard, speed guard. If you want to find out more information, by the way, on all these features, you can follow the link that is on 3dgameman.com just below the video review. It is also extremely efficient much more efficient when it's on standby than other power supplies. Other power supplies will consume between three and five watts. This one on standby, it's around one watt. So that is extremely impressive. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. 
Until next time, take care.